Hey guys, I am Mansoor. Welcome to our YouTube channel, The Coders Pitch. Today we will be seeing what is optimizers. In previous session, we saw about the training of neural network by front and back propagation and how to find the derivative of uh, old weight with respect to loss by using chain rule. <laughs> okay, so if you haven't saw those videos, please do see that and come back here because this is a similar like continuation of those videos. If you don't know how the neural network is getting trained in front and back propagation, then this video will be a bit complex to you. Okay, let's jump into our video. Okay, normally in the English term itself, optimizes it's self-explanatory. It is optimizing some parameter or some value, right? So the same thing in neural network also optimizers are used to tweak or change or update some values in our uh, neural networks. <coughs> okay, so as per the textbook definitions, optimizers are algorithms or methods used to change the attributes of the neural network such as weights, learning rate to reduce the loss. So at the end of the day, our motive is to get the high accuracy of our model by reducing the loss, correct? So to reduce the loss and increase the accuracy, the only thing we have is updating the weights and tweaking the learning rates, correct? So those things have been uh, done with the help of optimizers. So, okay, so now we will be seeing uh, how optimizers will play an important role. We'll go to our whiteboard. Okay, so you're right. So this is a simple uh, single layer single hidden layer neural network. So here what we are doing, so we have two inputs over here. We have uh, two perceptrons and we are giving two inputs, x1 and x2, okay? In this, in this neural network, just we are passing some value as an input, x1 and x2. Just consider this some classification problem. We are passing some inputs and we have connected to all the <coughs> uh, neurons of the hidden layers and the output of the hidden layers is also connected with the um, last layer of our neural network. Okay, so what happened in, uh, in in the general way, right? Our inputs will be traversing in this direction. So it's nothing but it will be traversing in forward direction. And this y hat will be calculated. Y hat is nothing but the predicted value. So y hat will be calculated. And at the end, we will be finding the loss function. Okay, loss function is nothing but y minus y hat okay and then we will be finding what is our loss value if our loss value is high then we will be back propagating back propagating is nothing but we will be coming backward like going backward from the output layer to the uh, input layer so while going in backward direction right here we have multiple values so Mm, here we have multiple values like this w2 w8 w9 w4 all the weights so all the weights will be getting updated so this weight updation will be happening by this formula okay so how the weights are getting updated so we will be not uh, like uh, entering the values or passing some parameters to get weights get updated so what we will be doing is we will be assigning uh, optimizers Okay, so those optimizers will automatically change the weight of each and every uh, neuron while back propagating. Okay, again, it will come forward and it will find the loss. If the loss is again high, again, it will back propagate. So now the same optimizer, right? Uh, the optimizer will change the uh, change or update the uh, weights of all the neurons. Okay, that's, that's what happening over in all the neural networks. So <coughs> optimizers are used to change the weights or learning rates to tweak the uh, loss or to reduce the loss to get the high accuracy in our neural network. Okay, so let's see what are the different types of optimizers we have. So we have gradient descent optimizer, stochasticated gradient descent, mini batch stochasticated gradient descent. We also call this as um, mini batch um, FGD. And we have Adam optimizer, we have RMS prompt, Ada delta, 
and diagrad. Okay, so in this session, we will be seeing what is optimizers and different types of optimizers. So we will be not going in depth knowledge of each of this. So we will be covering the in depth knowledge with math intuition and uh, practical explanation from our next video. Okay, so this is just an introductory video to optimizers. So now I hope like you guys are clear what is optimizer, what is the use of optimizer in neural network. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that. And please share this video with your friends who is learning deep learning. Until then, thank you. Bye-bye.